So friends, uh, we have uh, the second speaker uh, for today uh, in the form of Mohan Kumar Mega, uh, who is uh, 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 my uh, good old friend. We have been uh, knowing each other for, for each other for almost uh, twelve years. He comes with rich experience of working for various industries as a corporate editor. He works uh, 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 as a medical specialist and a, and an editor in chief. For a company based in uh, Mumbai, uh, he has earlier worked with uh, various organizations with all the uh, uh, copy editing uh, experience that he has had. He has been mentoring uh, various uh, young uh, uh, bioinformatics graduates uh, from time to time. He was also a core member between 2010 and 12 for BioClues, and again he joined as a core member for BioClues. Uh, after having obtained his uh, MSc in bioinformatics. His uh, interest now uh, drastically spread over uh, working towards you know, uh, copy uh, editing uh, the various manuscripts. And that is how you know, his rich experience you know, towards entrepreneurship you know, developed. And uh, we have you know, during the next 25-30 uh, uh, minutes, Mohan Kumar Mega's talk on entrepreneurship. Mohan, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much for, uh, for introducing me. Uh, uh, Thank you very much, Bioclose, for uh, giving me this opportunity to uh, present my talk here. Uh, I, I hope I am audible to everyone. Uh, yes, Mohan. Uh, can you please start sharing your screen? Uh, is, is, is the screen shareable? Yes, I, I do. Please ignore uh, my video. Uh, the light is not there, so I've temporarily adjusted something. Yes, yeah. we can yeah. start seeing the screen. Yeah. You can press F5. Yeah, thank you. Yes, uh, my name is Mohan Kumar. Uh, I am working as a specialist uh, in, uh, of the medical affairs department uh, with Eli Lilly and company uh, uh, to correct uh, Prashant. Uh, I'm uh, the company is based in Bangalore, not in uh, Mumbai. Yeah. I hope you are able to see, see my screen and uh, I'm uh, very much audible. Yeah, very much, very much Mohan. Please go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, 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 Vishu has mo mo most of my points have been covered by Vishu, uh, Dr. Vishu, and uh, I don't know how how, how much uh, uh, sense I'm going to put in my uh my presentation and uh, i hope this is going to be a boring because my slides are not very attractive uh, and in my during my entire talk i, I may i, I may uh, say things like uh, some qualities uh, uh, that scientists or some professionals have or don't have uh, that uh, my whole intention is not to demean any uh, profession uh, just to you know, highlight some uh, other points uh, to uh, for for better uh, uh, for betterment uh, of things. So kindly excuse me for that. And uh, uh, yeah, so I begin my talk on entrepreneurship. I, this is going to be a very basic uh, outline of uh, uh, what entrepreneurship is and how uh, how uh, what are the qualities that one should have to uh, for startup. Uh, uh, like uh, someone uh, asked Dr. Vishu about the uh, some indispensable thing that uh, uh, an entrepreneur should have, or the qualities that one should have, and the legal aspects, uh, how to start a startup, and how to get funding. Uh, some of the points and some of the things have been covered by Dr. Vishu, but uh, uh, yeah, this uh, this might be some overlap. Uh, some points may be overlapping uh, this uh, talk as well. So uh, today I'm going to uh, cover uh, like what is entrepreneurship and uh, who is entrepreneur and uh, are you uh, uh, are you sure want to become entrepreneur? And, uh, and I, I'm, uh, most of uh, most of people have uh, been telling you successful stories about entrepreneurship. But I have an unsuccessful story of uh, my uh, close friends uh, that I'm going to share in the uh, further in the session. And apart from that, I am also going to cover a few career opportunities. 
mostly that are uh, mostly that are non research based uh, fair opportunities uh, yeah so uh, to begin my talk uh, i i i start with uh, the basic definition of an entrepreneurship that uh, an, an entrepreneur entrepreneur is the, the one who creates a, a new business and is aware of all the risks that is going to uh, have in the in the overall uh, uh, overall uh, journey of the business and uh, i mean most of most of the people focus on profits but an entrepreneur should also focus on the risks that he is going to uh, have in the journey so uh, and the process to engage in uh, setting up a, a, a business is known as entrepreneurship uh, but uh, is uh, entrepreneurship is not just setting up a business it is more about uh, solving real life problems uh, i mean uh, you may not think it as a just business starting a business and running a business and uh, making money and all uh, Entrepreneurship is more about uh, uh, more about uh, solving real, uh, identifying the problems and identifying the uh, identifying uh, problems and researching on them and finding a solution that that can be economically viable as well as uh, uh, helpful uh, and beneficial to all uh, uh, all the people. So it's 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 more about uh, solving the problems, uh, and it's about. The hardship and struggle that uh, that that pays you off in the in, in the journey to be an entrepreneur. Uh, it's also about I mean, uh, one should have the hunger uh, uh, hunger to achieve something in big big in life. Entrepreneur uh, is, is is basically uh, you cannot say it as a career option. It is an I mean, one should be so much involved into it that it should be a lifestyle choice uh, at the end. So yeah, so uh, it, it, entrepreneurship is more about uh, engaging. Uh, uh, what do I say? It, it is more of uh, uh, taking initiative. Uh, uh, Simultaneously, I mean, he is also brave enough to accept failure and taking risks as well. So, uh, will uh, so before I entrepreneur, entrepreneur, uh, I'll also want to is my I'm getting an your connection is internet connection is unstable. Uh, please. Uh, Please feel free to uh, interrupt me anytime in the between. Uh, I, uh, if I'm not audible or something like that. You are clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are absolutely audible, Mohan. Maybe it's a good idea to unmute your microphone. Yeah. Sorry, I mean uh, to uh, stop your video. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So yes, uh, uh, so entrepreneurship is basically to have a vision, have an idea, have a ha have a long term vision, and for that you need uh, you need to research, uh, you need to ideate, and you need to uh, you need to have an inspiration within you, and after you have the idea of uh, of achieving the vision. Then uh, you need to question yourself, like what, where, how, and why, uh, 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 and related uh, related to all the uh, related to the problem that you are going to solve. You have to question uh, uh, from all uh, from, from every uh, every perspective of the problem. And once you identify the uh, once you have the vision and once you have the idea of the problem solving and once you uh, uh, question i mean once you have the perspective of a uh, 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 360 degree perspective of the problem then you plan and uh, strategize the planning and uh, work towards uh, achieving the goal so this overall journey is uh, this overall journey is maybe may defined as an uh, 
uh, uh, entrepreneurship. So it is not just like uh, Dr. Vishnu has also said, like if, uh, you, you don't have to uh, you you don't have to copy ideas. It should be come from within, and it should be a new idea, and unique idea uh, uh, for the problem that has never been solved, or uh, uh, or a new problem that arises, and you you have a solution for that. So you need to come up with a new idea and new these things. And it is not also uh, it is not about doing something that is already there. Uh, uh, some exceptions can be like if if you if you have an idea to improve your existing process or existing uh, 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 existing solution, then uh, then that can again be termed as a as a as a, as a novel uh, idea to bring in efficiency uh, and efficiency in, in, in various terms. So uh, one should look within uh, oneself to identify the qualities of uh, and and the viability of the uh, of the solution of the idea that they have. So uh, to move on to the qualities of an entrepreneur, uh, I would say that uh, passion is the first and the foremost quality uh, of a successful entrepreneur one should have uh, and uh, and to be honest I, I, I mean, dr fresh is the one that i've seen uh, who has the passion for uh, his bio clubs i've been witnessing this uh, since a long time uh, the passion that he has for something is, is he is very determined so that kind of passion one should have for uh, for, for the idea for the for, for to, to be an entrepreneur and this passion is very important to achieve a goal uh, because without passion one one may end up uh, one may end up tired in between the uh, even before he achieve uh, his goal so uh, and passion also it, it helps it helps in keeping the hope uh, and the ray of hope uh, for, for the future goal that he that that one is going to achieve in the long term. Passion also, uh, passion is very important uh, again in terms of uh, overcoming obstacles because uh, it gives you uh, uh, it gives an energy kind of thing to 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 overcome the obstacles and work towards uh, towards towards achieving the goal at the end. Apart from that, uh, entrepreneurship is not always uh, getting profit and uh, and uh, and successfully getting on top or successfully uh, gaining uh, or successfully achieving uh, achieving the goal that you have set. It is it also involves uh, risk, so one should be a risk taker. Like risk uh, risks are, are are involved in every business and every enterprise. One should have the ability to. Uh, uh, to to take risk and uh, and overcome them and uh, overcoming overcome them to achieve what they have thought. So all entrepreneurs should take risk, but again, not all risk takers can be are not successful entrepreneurs. So one should also remember this point that uh, like all risk takers uh, are, again are not uh, successful entrepreneurs as well. So uh, one should analyze the risks involved in the in the journey uh, and uh, prepare to overcome them and like uh, create and have a backup plan or creating a plan to overcome those obstacles. One should analyze beforehand all these things and then uh, step into uh, or, or be or, or be an entrepreneur. So uh, analyzing the problems beforehand is uh, very much important, and uh, also one should uh, have the ability to take uh, to to overcome uh, to, to to take those risks and uh, overcome them during the journey. Then another uh, another important quality is to have knowledge and planning, uh, because uh, because uh, planning is actually strategizing the whole game beforehand uh, even when you have when you don't uh, even when you haven't stepped into it so building a proper structure uh, 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 overall thought process to reach your goal is very important 
and uh, and and to and to build a proper structure and thought process, you need knowledge. So knowledge helps in planning. So knowledge and plan, planning both go together. So one one should have complete knowledge of the industry uh, or the market trends or the business the that one one is going to get get involved in. Knowledge and planning both uh, also form a very important quality uh, for an entrepreneur. Again, uh, creativity, creativity is is uh, uh, is again very much important to be to, to come up with new ideas, to come up with uh, uh, uniqueness uh, in existing ideas. Uh, so one, one should be a creative thinker. Without creativity, uh, uh, I don't think any innovation is possible because it helps in executing the business in a uh, in a unique and creative ways. And uh, I'm, I agree that uh, not all uh, all ideas uh, become hit and all, uh, but uh, but one should be creative enough to you know. Uh, uh, one should not stop from thinking new ideas or being creative uh, throughout the uh, process. And persistence uh, is like uh, one of the most important quality, I would say, because uh, I mean, everyone experiences failures and hurdles, but with only persistence, I think you, you, you can pull yourself back uh, into the track and uh, you know, work towards achieving your goal. So persistence is, I think, is one of the most important of all these things, uh, uh, because it's a basic and very essential quality of an entrepreneur. And uh, and to be an entrepreneur, one, in my personal opinion, one should be a tortoise and not a rabbit in the uh, in the tortoise rabbit race, because uh, because. If you have these all these qualities and and you work like a tortoise is like per, uh, being consistent and persistent and uh, and the passion that you have inculcated in you will will definitely uh, will uh, take you to what you uh, want to achieve so, uh, this is uh, basically about uh, entrepreneur and entrepreneurship uh, again uh, uh, this was, a, this was this was to give a general idea about uh, all this uh, entrepreneur entrepreneurship, and I uh, I'm going to narrate a short story of uh, three friends uh, here, uh, and we'll see what uh, I mean. Uh, we, generally, we talk about uh, we talk that you know yeah I have an idea and we le let's build a startup and all, uh, and and we'll get profits and all. It, it's very easy to think on that lines, but. Uh, uh, as a scientist, as a researcher, uh, you, you may not have all the qualities and all, uh, and all the required interest, uh, all the required uh, elements uh, to know uh, uh, to continue with the uh, entrepreneurship. So I I, I have a, a story of my close uh, three friends who, uh, who who wanted to you know uh, start a business. Uh, so I'll I'll tell you the story and we can learn uh, at the end we can learn what uh, what not to do and uh, what we learn from the story. So there were three uh, three friends uh, who uh, who um, uh, who were my colleagues uh, in the previous organizations uh, who uh, they they have seen uh, some some other friends uh, starting a business and getting profit. So they were uh, energized and. Uh, uh, they also wanted to do something they are like uh, when you are young and uh, energetic you, you 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 feel you feel like you uh, you can rule the world I mean, that the second part i mean it's good to have that energy and all uh, but uh, you should also like uh, i said you should uh, uh, analyze the risks that as that are going to pose in the journey and you, you should uh, you should have the, all those qualities that i've said to become successful so, so they also wanted to uh, start a startup and uh, 
although they were working in an organization uh, so they were not quite confident about what they uh, what they are going to do so they they wanted to uh, do the job uh, continue the job as well as uh, start a start, uh, startup uh, in, in the sideways so they form a group these three guys formed a group and uh, started a startup and uh, uh, they wanted to uh, uh, so they started working on that so uh, the problem that have they have encountered that uh, they don't have for first they, they didn't had a good planning and all so uh, so they don't even uh, share the responsibilities correctly who is going to do what and what uh, so it, it, so I, I also tell you the i mean what the startup was about it is about uh, the uh, editing of manuscripts and becoming a, uh, a publisher at the end so they, they wanted to you know uh, uh, edit manuscripts for language and uh, proofreading of uh, uh, of the research manuscripts before uh, the researchers and authors uh, publish the papers in the uh, in, in the submission system so they wanted to target uh, researchers uh, who wanted to publish the paper uh, and and they wanted to target mainly uh, uh, what you say uh, uh, not the third i mean this africa asia regions where they where the english is not their first language so they wanted to target those uh, audience so they have started this thing but uh, they don't have proper website they, they were i mean even before they have all the resources they just uh, they, they registered their company and they formed the uh, they formed the company they formed the uh, yeah they formed the company and started working on it and later on they started building a website and you know uh, analyzing the uh, requirement other requirements that they have to but uh, soon and they were also focusing on the job so they were not able to give 100% time to uh, to to the startup and and they were also not able to uh, give time uh, or give time at the the specific time uh, i mean what i mean is uh, all three can uh, all three were not having uh, uh, were not free at the same time so some when when someone when, when two of them has time then one uh, one of them used to be busy or uh, uh, when one one used to have a free time then other person other two person were busy so there was no coordination in between them uh, to carry out the task so all the tasks that they have uh, listed were uh, i mean this 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 they soon realized that this is not going to work and still they they they, they strived and they continued for some time and uh, they also faced legalities like uh, uh, one cannot uh, work in two companies at the same time and like uh, uh, so there were some other legal issues as well so uh, all these were uh, and still they were continuing and uh, 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 and tried mo most of i mean uh, tried at different ends uh, i mean uh, all the three have not uh, tried at the same time uh, when one was active uh, other two were uh, inactive so this was happening very frequently and uh, uh even small for, for for every small things they they don't have the um, i mean they the capital investment was also very less they don't have uh, much money and they don't want to uh, invest much money as well so so and, and uh up once you once you register the company there are there are many legal uh, compliances that you have to follow but they they don't have the knowledge about that uh, and uh, so they wanted to hire ca and uh, do other compliances and they also had to pay pay him for uh, every year and so all these were they they, they were uh, not, uh, i mean they were not imagined beforehand so like i said like, like knowledge and planning are very important so they were not having uh, they have not imagined all these uh, problems that uh, they are going to uh, encounter in the future so uh, they have tried many uh, many days and uh, at the end they uh, i mean they gave up the idea and they dissolved the company and uh, it ended up uh, like anything so uh, i mean these three were very close to me so i could uh, follow and 
and uh, and know know everything about this uh, startup uh, attempt so that was all about this story so one thing i mean lesson so i i mean i have asked them what lessons you learned from this so although this is an unsuccessful attempt so uh, uh, the lesson one should learn is you should focus on one thing at a time if you if you if you if you if you, if you thought about if you thought of entering into uh, a business then you should uh, be completely uh, involved in it and uh, get away with all other uh, uh, other attachment that you have so either you uh, if, if you have, either you should uh, focus on your job or uh, completely on the business you believe your business uh, on the enterprise that you're uh, going to start and and you, if you have that belief and that confidence then you should uh, enter uh, leaving the job and completely be on for focus on that thing and you if you have if you have thought of starting something then you should invest time in, in it because what these guys were doing is they they were also focusing on the job uh, at the same time i mean they don't want to leave their job and by securing the job they wanted to you know uh, uh, you know work on this so and most of the time they they end up uh, not having time so if you if you if you want to do something then you have to take out time for this so and uh, and they have uh, and they they have failed to estimate the cost that is that is going to uh, uh, incur in in future so one should also estimate the correct uh, cost and expenditure and 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 you need not back out uh, i mean i mean there is no option of uh, you know uh, if you if you if you want to start something and you want and there, there is an expenditure so you have to uh, uh, you have you, you should have the money to you know uh, get the get, get things done and, and and continue for what you want to do uh, but if you if, if you if you don't have money and you, you also want to want to get uh, want to get the work done then it's not it's not going to happen so you have to estimate the uh, cost and expenditure uh, beforehand and keep 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 the capital uh, ready for that uh, and then you have to uh, start the process and uh, uh, and uh, and you have to also gain sufficient industry knowledge uh, about what you're going to do so these guys when they were uh, uh, they started they uh, i mean initially they weren't they haven't realized that there was enough competition but when they when they uh, when they started the company and then they worked uh, they worked to uh, you know gain clients then they understood that the top, uh, the competition is very tough and uh, the profitability is not very uh, high so that lower uh, lowered their confidence uh, uh, in, in in the middle so so one should have uh, i mean one should have sufficient knowledge uh, of the industry or the niche that you are going to uh, work in terms of market trends competition uh, and everything uh, you need to uh, plan out things beforehand uh, and because you, you cannot i mean there are things that come up uh, all of a sudden and you need to be ready for that or uh, and you may not uh, end up uh, uh, in a, or imagining or estimating all the uh, risks that are going uh, that you you're going to encounter uh, in the journey so you should uh, be ready and plan out for all the all the situation that may uh, that, that you may encounter and uh, if you if you if you have planned if you have planned few things uh, and uh, you should work on executing them as well just planning out uh, things won't uh, are not is not sufficient so uh, these were some of the lessons that they have learned and in terms of uh, uh, i mean uh, right now in this in the re in the recent times we have uh, i have i have seen that uh, many institutes uh, have come up uh, who, who i mean uh, what happened with these three guys is they don't want uh, wanted other investor and uh, do all the things that they they want to themselves uh, stand uh, themselves want to uh, uh, build uh, the enterprise and uh, with, the, with the least amount of uh, money uh, 
but this this was uh, therefore this was uh, an uh, unsuccessful attempt uh, of them uh, but nowadays what i'm uh, seeing is even if you have idea unique idea if, if you have a brilliant uh, uh, idea that can have a uh, that it can have a, a huge impact on the uh, on the problem on, on, on or uh, uh, on the people uh, then you i mean your idea can be uh, uh, developed into a a good uh, product at the end uh, with, uh, with uh, so many uh, uh, so many investors uh, angel investors and seeding companies uh, are available right now so, uh, so 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 you don't have to worry about the capital investment uh, nowadays because so, so many companies are in uh, are now uh, they just want the idea and you if you have the idea then they, they are ready to invest in and uh, you can uh, um, they will invest and they have uh, i mean you, you can you know, go ahead and uh, uh, if, if it is a unique and you can even patent and um, get on uh, get into the uh, business and you know, be successful uh, uh, and be productive of the idea or uh, or, or or to be precise to, to materialize your idea into the product uh, so there are many such uh, companies available now uh, who are ready to uh, invest and all. So this was about uh, entrepreneurship and uh, uh, a story that I wanted to narrate. And uh, next, I'm going to uh, highlight a few uh, few few career uh, few 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 career options uh, that are non. Uh, non research based so because uh, i have been into copy editing and language editing of uh, research manuscripts uh, i can uh, i have uh, listed out uh, uh, listed out the opportunities that i i know and uh, i i mean uh, although vishu dr vishu has covered uh, some of the things of this presentation uh, some points of uh, also the, he has mentioned uh, other career options as well so uh, i'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, list out a few options that uh, that that are not specifically for bio. some some are specifically to related to bioinformatics, uh, but some are uh, like life science related. You I mean any life science graduate or postgraduate or or a PhD uh, can uh, offer. So some some of the jobs uh, options that can one can have is uh, get into publication support uh, where. One can you know, uh, work as a uh, work to support pub, uh, uh, research papers and all with the pub, uh, with the publication houses. Another thing is uh, uh, scientific editing. Uh, like uh, many many countries from the Africa and Asia uh, and some other regions where where, where English is not a second language. Uh, so, 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 such such countries, such researchers from these countries uh, feel, I mean, lack uh, lack proper English knowledge. I mean, although they are not uh, uh, knowing English is not a prerequisite uh, so to, to, to be a research scientist, but uh, uh, but publishing a good paper in a good language is important for the readers to you know understand the uh, understand understand the research. So there arises the need for language editors who curate, uh, who, who, who edit the paper uh, uh, as the good English language could command, could command over English and they edit the paper before, they, before the, these papers get published in, uh, in different journals. So this can be a good uh, career option for, uh, for, for one who, uh, who, you know, who don't want to go into this uh, uh, lab or research uh, uh, research side. So, um, and so publication support may also, uh, I mean, generally includes managing editor and general the journal management kind of roles. And scientific editing can be done uh, uh, with a company with a, with, with, with a company as well as you can freelance. Uh, but uh, the main skills that you need to have is a good command over English and uh, good also the scientific knowledge. Uh, but you, you you can have the 
uh, freedom to choose uh, which uh, which domain paper that you would like to edit. Uh, if you are a good, uh, if if you are from bioinformatics background, then yes, you can uh, choose to edit by bioinformatics related papers. Uh, but again, you uh, with good English knowledge, uh, you can uh, you, you can opt for this uh, opt, uh, for this kind of rules. Uh, there is a, a certification also in this editing uh, for editing goals. There is a certification called BELS, uh, Board of Editors in Life Sciences, uh, where uh, where once you have the uh, enough experience in editing these manuscripts, then you can uh, 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 give the exam uh, uh, of this BELS exam. And once you clear that, you will uh, you will uh, you will get a uh, a certification and you can uh, you can have a good pay then and and uh, and renowned publishers will will easily uh, um, give you a role as an editor apart from that uh, this is generally known uh, medical writing is another good option that uh, one can uh, if, if if one don't have if one don't want to go into the research line then uh, one can be a medical writer uh, all these uh, and uh, various roles in CROs can be opted also where where, uh, where life science uh, students can be taken uh, are, are taken so all these uh, scientific editing medical writing and uh, roles in CROs are generally uh, termed as uh, medicom medical communication or medical marketing or medical affairs departments in various companies depending on the companies uh, there they have uh, there they develop con content related to uh, uh, I mean all the content related to science only but uh, uh, one needs to develop the content related to marketing may maybe marketing or newsletters e modules training modules disease and patient related uh, newsletters and all so all this comes into uh, medical affairs or medical medical marketing or whatever uh, the different companies call them apart from that uh, uh, the availability of data and the ever growing role of uh, artificial intelligence and uh, various advances in uh, health sciences these all these factors are resulting in uh, uh, roles like uh, uh, data manager data analysis and uh, uh, programmer where uh, purely bioinformatics bioinformatics skills are needed uh, uh, like uh, um, uh, com uh, various companies uh, who has these skills, skills like uh, good knowledge in statistics, computer programming, uh, uh, again a little bit of knowledge on on the uh, uh, clinical research. Uh, uh, these things can uh, are fairly. Uh, I mean, if you have the skills, then you can be uh, high, highly get into this kind of roles, and these are highly paid jobs as well as of now. Marketing research analyst is an, another uh, is another uh, uh, job role that one can get into. But uh, you, you, I mean, uh, I mean, you need not have a bioinformatics as specialization. But uh, in general, all life science uh, people can get into marketing analyst analyst uh, where uh, you are uh, asked to rep uh, you, you should have the business some business concepts uh, MBA uh, a basic uh, idea basic knowledge of uh, business and then you can easily get into this role where you, you are required to uh, you know uh, do a secondary research on uh, 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 depend, depending on the field uh, depending on the topic there you have to uh, do a market research like uh, a demand for which uh, say uh, in, in terms of gloves which, which gloves are being preferred uh, wear and the nitride gloves or uh, or uh, latex gloves or I mean, I mean uh, to be to give an example, like uh, which uh, say, say for example, which region demand uh, the demand for gloves is uh, how much is the demand in which region and which region is importing very uh, high gloves and where the raw materials are being uh, uh, are being uh, uh, produced and where, which companies are involved in what is the competition. Uh, in, in the gloves market and all these can uh, and all these are 
uh, you, you, one needs to do research on all these things and prepare a report and uh, give it to the clients. So this, uh, uh, this kind of role is called a market research analyst, where one uh, is uh, asked to do a research on business research on uh, on products and things related to science and all. So here, uh, scientific knowledge uh, along with some business uh, skills are required in, for, for such roles. Apart from that, uh, business development and sales uh, uh, in uh, any scientific or uh, any, any science related or uh, scientific equipment companies, uh, these roles are common in, in such companies where again, you need to demonstrate the product. Uh, so you need to have a scientific knowledge in those things. So uh, such companies also uh, uh, take uh, uh, life science uh, graduates and uh, postgraduates and also PhDs uh, for such roles where they have to you know, get into business development or the sales of the company uh, or market companies, uh, not only on field, but uh, uh, on the functional aspect uh, on the back end as well. So these are the career opportunities that uh, I mean, I have listed very few, but there are uh, many more available uh, on, uh, in the market right now. So I end my uh, talk with this. If you have any questions, then uh, please, 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 uh, please ask me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mohan, you know, for the wonderful talk. So, friends, uh, please utilize this uh, opportunity in asking a question or two to Mohan. We have, you know, three, three, four minutes. Yeah. I'm also happy to help uh, if someone uh, if someone needs help any any uh, uh, job related uh, process and all even after the session as well. So friends, any 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 questions, please? Yeah. So please unmute your microphone and uh, otherwise, you know, Mohan can also be reached at Mohan at bioclues.org. Oh, yeah, I was about to type. Yeah. So, uh, so thank you so much for uh, an awe inspiring talk, Mohan. So, friends, and thumping out of applause, uh, applause, please, you know, for Mohan. Please unmute your microphone and, uh, you know, please thank the speaker. Thank you so much, Mohan. Yeah. Thank you very much, Suppresh. Yeah. You gave me an opportunity and I hope I made sense, some sense at least. No, very much. Thank you, Mohan. Thank you so much.